President Santos arrived in Northern Ireland to learn from its transition from war to peace. It was Northern Ireland's peace process, he said, that inspired him to try and end Colombia's conflict with the leftist armed group, the FARC. You I followed did. this peace process for a very long time. I did. I did, and very closely. I studied very well, and I have people who participated in the peace process who have been advising me on uh, what to do and what not to do. So it's been extremely, extremely useful for, for me and for all of uh, the Colombians who want peace. He began the day at Stormont Castle, once home to Northern Ireland's one-party Protestant state, now the heart of a power-sharing government. There he met the Deputy First Minister. Many of our negotiators have gone to Havana in the course of the last uh, number of years. And of course we're delighted at the successful outcome of those negotiations. Martin McGuinness was once a convicted member of the Provisional Irish Republican Army that fought against British control of this province. In the 1970s, Santos had a close encounter with an IRA bomb when visiting London. Since then, he's paid close attention to Northern Ireland's triumphs and its troubles. The evolution of political pariahs like Martin McGuinness into leading politicians has been a vital step for Northern Ireland and a lesson for the Colombian president in ongoing talks with the FARC. Until a ceasefire came into force in September, the armed group had been fighting the Colombian government for 52 years. An estimated 260,000 people were killed in the conflict. But since the ceasefire, Santos has struggled to implement a peace plan after it was rejected by voters by a narrow margin last month. Opponents of the deal were angered that FARC fighters were offered seats in Congress. But the effort was enough for President Santos to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. 18 years after two architects of the Irish peace plan, David Trimble and John Hume, were given the award. There have been years of reconciliation in Northern Ireland since the Good Friday Peace Agreement, but barriers, ironically called peace walls, still separate Catholic and Protestant districts. Sectarian tensions still simmer, even if politics has moved on. If there are any lessons to learn here, it's that peace can be far from perfect. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Belfast.